are back again with another vlog. I wanted to do a week in a life vlog. Um, this video is sponsored by Adenola. They're kind of like an it girl lifestyle slash activewear brand. So they have really comfortable activewear and also loungewear, which is very important to me because I work from home. <laughs> so throughout this vlog, you will be seeing lots of Adenola fits. So actually right now I'm about to go pick up my dad um, he's gonna spend the night because I have I actually haven't seen him in like almost a month <laughs> um, He called me like two weeks ago just like check in and like ask how I was and He was kind of like dropping hints. You know what I'm saying? Like he wants to hang out So um, I invited him over today and then I'm gonna try to take him to Didi Which is if you guys know Toyota Bay on TikTok, it's her new restaurant in WeHo uh, food is so good, but my dad has been begging me to go like ever since it opened. So I'm gonna try to get us in today. Um, but yeah, this is my outfit for going to pick him up. <laughs> I have my Adenola, like a kind of like a workout top. This actually came with padding, but I gonna be honest with y'all i hate padding in my top so i take them out of every single thing that i buy <laughs> uh so there is just this top it's very comfortable the fabric is really buttery um and then i just have these really really comfortable really soft sweatpants with the matching sweatshirt i know it's like hot in los angeles it's still the summertime but you know in my car i like to blast the ac and it gets a little chilly in there, you know what I'm saying? I feel way more comfy being cold with a sweatshirt on than being hot in just a tank top, if that makes sense. So that's my outfit today, you know what I'm saying? Like. And then as always, I have my everyday jewelry, same old, same old. But yeah, let's go pick up my Faja. All right, update. We were able to get a table at Didi, so we're going out to dinner. This is my dinner outfit. I have this same tank top, night or day to night, if you will. Uh, I just put on a blazer and some black pants. I'm gonna wear my pointed toe booties and I've got my little bag. Dad, show us your outfit. Show us your outfit. He's a little camera shy right now, so. Mom, show us your outfit. Oh. oh. Wow. Look at you. Period. He does pockets. Period. All right, but now we've got to get going because they only have a 15 minute grace period and we don't want to be late. <laughs> First impressions? I like it. <laughs> you only understand that joke if you watch my last vlog. <laughs> Not Memorial Day, Labor Day. Uh, but I just wanted to show you my outfit for today. I am going to visit Gums Antique Mall. I have probably gone here like in my past two LA vlogs. <laughs> I just love that place so much because like everything that they have there totally fits the vibe with my new house. Um, and as you can see, I wanted to vlog in here instead of the living room because I feel like 
I only ever show you guys the living room. Um, but this is my bedroom. As you can see, there's not really a lot going on here. I'm still trying to work on it. So I wanna go to Gums to see if I can get like a really nice painting, like a framed painting here, or, you know, I just wanna see what they have over there. Maybe they have something cool. But this is my outfit of the day. So everything again is from Adenola. So uh, this top is the black version of what I wore to dinner last time. Um, my shorts are these really, really nice thick um, sweat shorts. These are gonna be really great for fall when it gets a little cooler because they're very thick. And this sweatshirt is also very, very thick. I love the feel of this and it's oversized so it's like you know what i'm saying not really much going on today so i just wanted to throw on something like really comfortable and really casual and your girl has been working out you know what i'm saying can you tell i feel stronger because i've been weightlifting and because i started doing cardio again i'm working on my endurance you know what i'm saying She's an athlete, per. <laughs> oh, we can't see. Mom wants to show you guys her ooh, her little sketchbook. Isn't it so cute? And my pencil. Oh, and her pencil, kind of. And her little pencil. Wow. Artista. It's my green era. She said it's her green era. Crazy to think how far stars are apart from each other. We're only eight light minutes away from our star. The next one is 4.3 light years. There was a post on Tumblr back in the day where someone drew like uh, the night sky. And you know how they have like the crescent moon? So someone drew like a star inside like where the full moon is supposed to be. And someone was like, oh, this is a really nice drawing, but Communism. like you're not supposed to have a um, like a star in the crescent moon because that's just like a shadow or whatever. Right. And then there's um, no stars in between the earth and the moon. Right. But someone <laughs> said the original per person who posted it was like, oh, well, what if there's like a star in between like the earth and the moon? <laughs> and someone said. Sweetie, if there was a star in between the Earth and the Moon, we'd all be f***ing dead. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that went viral like a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, we'd be toast. I mean, we're just in the right place from the sun to be... You know, Living. <laughs> right. I mean, look at Venus. Venus is the closest planet to the Earth. It's the closest in size, right? Two? Yeah, almost the exact same size as Earth. Right. But... Too close to the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically, Mercury, which is even closer to the sun, is cooler than Venus because Venus' atmosphere has car carbon dioxide and that's a greenhouse gas. So it heats up to like 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That will melt lead. Just the heat would be bad enough, but what's even worse is the atmospheric pressure is a thousand times what it is on the surface at sea level here. And the clouds on Venus are made of sulfuric acid. So if you landed in a spacecraft on Venus, you would burn up, and you'd be crushed, and then dissolved by acid rain. That's the, probably the most inhospitable planet in the solar system. But it looks so close to Earth in size. I always wonder though, if Mars was the size of Venus, it probably would have life there, for sure. Because it would have a magnetic field, just like Earth. Because it'd be the same size. But Mars has had a magnetic field. Since it's smaller, you know, it died out earlier geographically than the Earth did. This might be the biggest antique mall in LA County. Welcome to Gums Mall of Antiques and Collectibles in Hawaiian Gardens, California. It's a Filipino and Native American owned antique mall and they have everything you can imagine from every decade since the 1900s. It's literally like walking through a museum. They have a huge selection of vinyls for all my LP lovers out there. For the gamers, they have vintage games for the PlayStation and GameCube. And they even have eight tracks, which I've never actually seen in person before. I didn't even know what these looked like. 
I found this gorgeous painting for my bedroom and these vintage Chanel cargo pants from their fall winter 2000 collection. Hello. And fun fact, my dad has been friends with the owner since high school. Besties forever. There's pretty much something for everyone here, so be sure to check out Gums Mall in Hawaiian Gardens. So here's my plan for today. I need to take my mom to the dentist in Long Beach because she doesn't have a car. She sold her car before the pandemic because she was gonna move to the Philippines. Um, so it didn't make sense to be paying like insurance and registration for a car that you're only driving for like half the year. So she sold her car and then she went to the Philippines and then COVID hit and she got stuck in the Philippines for the whole year. She didn't come back until October, 2020. She was supposed to come back in April, 2020, but then like lockdowns happened, so she couldn't leave the country. <laughs> um, so she came back because I don't want her to live in the Philippines in her old age because healthcare there is not great. Um, so I told her to just like move in with me and then she can visit the Philippines or visit Canada where the like some of our family is um, if she wants to do that like a few months out of the year but I really want her to be near me because she's like getting older you know what I mean and um, she raised me you know she took care of me as a child so um, now it's my duty as the child to take care of her so anyway all that to say <laughs> that I'm taking her to her dentist appointment um, today in Long Beach and then we're gonna come back or I might do this before we go to the dentist but I, I bought a new rug for my bedroom and when I went to Gums yesterday I got a new painting for my bedroom to go right above my bed so I want to do all of that today I have a meeting at 11 so I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do my meeting put up the rug and the photo before we go to her dentist appointment but regardless it will be done today i just don't know when it's gonna be done we had a three-day weekend it was labor day and my um living room is looking a mess <laughs> all we did this whole three-day weekend was sit around the tv and watch movies and k-dramas so i'm gonna go clean up that area you'll see what a mess it is <laughs> It's a disaster, but we're gonna clean it up today. But before we get started, here is my outfit of the day. Here's my lounge outfit for the day. Um, again, everything is from Adenola. This shirt is from Adenola. My sweatpants are from Adenola. And I actually have a tip for you guys. If you feel like your oversized t-shirts kind of just like look weird, you probably need to go even bigger because when a shirt is this big, you know what I'm saying? When it's this oversized, it's a look. If it's just like a big t-shirt, it can look like it's a shirt that's just too big for you. You know what I'm saying? Like you just got the wrong size. But when it's like oversized, it's like part of the look. You know what I'm saying? So um, if you ever have an issue with like oversized graphic tees, you might just need to go bigger. That's my fashion tip for today. Now let's uh, clean this up. <laughs> Actually, let me show you another angle because it's like kind of nuts over here. Yikes.
What? Are you jealous? You just have an outfit? <laughs> Y'all, the traffic today was horrendous. Um, it was terrible. Yesterday, which was Labor Day, fantastic. There were no cars on the road. It was giving March 2020, you know what I'm saying? It was giving like lockdown. Today, horrendous. You know what I just realized? I haven't had a proper, proper meal today. I didn't eat breakfast and it's almost 3 p.m. So once we get back home, I'm gonna <laughs> need to eat some food. And then I actually have to film a TikTok, a sponsored TikTok, and then I still have to do my bedroom. And I have to charge my car. I'm only on 15%. So that's not gonna take me home so before we leave i need to go charge my car i also want to go buy a dyson air straight it's really expensive so like i have been waiting for people to like leave reviews and i've been watching like youtube reviews on it because <laughs> it was really expensive i don't think i'm gonna do that today i might have to do that tomorrow but um maybe i'll go after i get my nails done because i have a nail appointment tomorrow i'm probably just gonna get the same the same exact manicure. I really love French tips and I love this like kind of coffin shape. So I'm just gonna do this exact manicure. I just have to like shave it down. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I have to make my Invisalign appointment. <laughs> I forgot. Maybe I'll do that right now. I did have it on my to-do list today. To bypass this message, please press one. If we are assisting another caller, please leave a message and we will return. Hi, uh, I wanted to make an appointment. Uh, back in, I want to say like April or May, I had like a consultation um, and I had to get a filling before I got Invisalign. So I just wanted to make my appointment to come back. May I pick in a brief hold? Sure. is a bit much. You, that's 30 <laughs> minutes? 13. Oh my god. So, as you can see from the previous clip, I was not able to get to my bedroom yesterday. But hopefully we can do it today. Alright, so I'm going to the gym right now. My workout set, obviously, is Adenola. Ciao! I love the little, uh, like, double cross straps in the back. I think it looks so cute. There's nothing that will motivate you to work out quite like a cute workout set does. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you put on a cute workout set, it's like, alright, I'm locked in, I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? This one is super cute, it's super flattering. Again, the fabric is very buttery and I don't feel constricted, even though both of these are like an extra small and I'm like, you know, like, I don't know what the word is. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I still feel like I can move freely and, you know, do my workouts properly. Um, I really like feeling contained. That's the word I was looking for. I like feeling contained in my workout gear because you're like jumping and you're like doing all this crazy stuff when you're working out. So I like to feel very contained in my clothing. <laughs> so that's my outfit, my workout outfit for today.
shower. Y'all, I did not have enough time to wash my hair, which is really disappointing because I really wanted to wear my hair down today, but I took too long at the gym. <laughs> and my nail appointment is in about 15 minutes, so I was not able to wash my hair. And I was going to make my own smoothie, but I ended up just getting it from my gym because I didn't have enough time to make it. So we are kind of all over the place today. It's fine. This is what makes life exciting. Okay, so I ended up being like 10 minutes late, but it was okay because she was finishing up another client anyway, so we were all good. It all leveled out, um, but I basically got the same exact manicure. I don't know, there's just, there's just something about French nails that are really doing it for me right now. She's just, she's just that girl right now. So because I was running late, I wasn't able to give you a rundown of the outfit. But of course, it's from Adenola. Um, it's like this really cute two-piece cotton set. I love this for the current temperature because today it was around like 79 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not too hot. It's also not too cold. It's kind of like in the perfect um, range for me. Um, but this is cotton, so I didn't feel too hot in it, but also it's like long sleeve. So whenever there was a breeze, I wasn't cold. Whenever I went into the nail shop, I wasn't cold, even though the AC is blowing. So I really love this set. It kind of has like a brushed cotton feel to it almost. And what I love about this the most is like this little logo. Usually I would like tie in a bow, but then you wouldn't be able to see the logo. So I kind of left it like this because it's kind of cute. And then, I don't know if you can see this on the back of the shirt, there's also like another logo situation here. I thought it was really cute. Very nice details, very well thought out. I love two piece sets because you don't have to think about what you're gonna wear. You just grab it from your closet and you put it on and you already look put together. So I am a huge fan of two piece sets. And the best part about these pants, they have pockets. We should ban pants that don't have pockets. You know what I'm saying? Like we should ban them. They should be illegal. That's just my, just my opinion. All right, y'all, I'm going shopping today. Uh, number one, I need to, well, I don't need to. <laughs> I want to buy that Dyson Airstrait. Um, I just feel like now's the time to do it. You know what I'm saying? Pull the trigger, you know what I'm saying? Number two, I have a brand event tonight. I have a brand event tonight that I thought was on Saturday, but because it was incorrectly placed in my calendar, but it's actually tonight. And the dress code is ruby red. And I do have a ruby red dress, but I already wore it. And there's nothing wrong with outfit re repeating. I do it all the time. But the thing is I wore this specific dress to th this brand's last event. <laughs> So I can't really do that again. Um, so I need to find something ruby red. Um, I don't know what that's gonna be, but I'm gonna take a look around and see what I can find. Um, and this is what I'm going to be wearing to run my little errands. It is basically the white version of the brown set that I wore yesterday. I just love this stuff so much. I want you to see like how thick this cotton material is. It is, it feels so luxurious. I just, I love this set. I want to get them in every color. They also have this in black, but I guess this set is so hot that they didn't have my size. They probably like have restocked it by now, but when I wanted it, they didn't have my size. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to change and then we're going to head on over and run my little errands. I also want to go to Air One because I want to try Hailey Bieber's smoothie. Everyone's saying it's really good and I just, I want to try it. So 
Let's go. Okay, you know what I feel like wearing this outfit? I feel like I'm in an early 2000s like R&B music video. You know what I'm saying? Like singing in the rain, heartbroken, you know what I'm saying? But also it kind of gives me like creep vibes, you know, like, okay. Yeah, just keep it on the down low. You know what I'm saying? Like I just I get that vibe. Okay, anyway. I'm very much into carrying large tote bags and leaving them in my car. I have like, you know, five of them in my car because I'm trying to cut down on my single-use plastic and I feel like uh, plastic bags is a really easy one to combat. So um, that's where I'm at right now. This set is so comfortable and I look like a member of TLC. I'm obsessed with this. All right, let's go. <laughs> it is with a heavy heart that I must announce that this is really, really good. Like, no wonder people are going crazy after it. This is so good. It was also $18. <laughs> I will never forget that one time that I went to Erwan and I got a green smoothie and a bagel. One green smoothie and one bagel. And my total was $36. <laughs> Temperature today is so nice. So I think it's like 75 degrees. This is like the perfect temperature for me. Oops. I wish every day was like this. You know, I've never been to the Grove this early. <laughs> what level can I park on? Oh my God, level four, period. Wow. Air straight secured. When I was paying for parking, I walked by the cutest Filipino couple. <laughs> They're like, I don't know, probably like in their 50s. It was a husband and a wife and she was making him take her photos. And he was really into it too. He was like, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you this photo. He was setting up the camera on his phone. Like he was getting, he was getting the angles, you know what I'm saying? Like. That's the way it should be. <laughs> all right, so a lot has happened within the past four hours. First of all, I straightened my hair with the Dyson Air Straight. Pretty impressed, um, but I filmed a first impressions review video, and that video actually should be up by the time this video goes up. So you've probably already seen it, but if you haven't, I will link that right up here and in the description box down below. But I'm on my way to my two events today and I did not end up finding red at the mall. For some reason, like no one has red right now, even though it's like fall, no one has red. The color was really like burgundy, but I was looking for more of like a ruby red. Um, but I do remember that I have this skirt that I bought years ago. Hold on, let me show you. So I have this like pleather, faux pleather skirt um, that I thought would be perfect for this. And then I am just literally using the top that I wore today from Adenola. You know, she's versatile. You can dress her up or dress her down. And then to kind of like play off this like deconstructed edgy look, I'm going to wear my combat boots with this and then wear my little clutch. I have a lot of mixed metals going on because like all of my accessories are gold, but the detailing on my skirt and on my shoes are silver, but I don't really care. Um, just the way things are. And then right here in my hair, this is called a binyo, which is like a traditional like Korean hairpin. I got this when I was in Korea. I, I'm pretty sure where else would I get it from? Um, so I just threw that in my hair. I just, I don't know. It just felt like the right thing to do for this outfit. <laughs> Girl, I almost forgot to throw on some rings. I need to organize this whole thing, don't mind this. Uh, I think I will go with my pinky signet ring. So I'll go with this and then I'll probably do my snake ring. Maybe I'll do this chunky one. Um, let's see, what else do I wanna do? Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do that. 
So funny how I still haven't put down my rug or put up that painting. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. All right, if you're asking me if I finally put down that rug and put up the painting, the answer is no. I have not done that yet. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, I'm like editing this vlog right now and it's making me realize that my house is a much bigger mess than I thought it was. Like, obviously I knew that things wouldn't be as... What the hell? Why is this person outside with a flashlight looking at cars? Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on that, but um, I knew that my house didn't look very cohesive because number one, I was coming from a much smaller apartment and number two, it was a totally different design style. So I knew things didn't really look cohesive, but like while I was editing this vlog and just like seeing how my house looked in like the footage, it's really a mess. So I think that might be my priority for the rest of the year, like getting my house together because I don't like how it, it was looking in this vlog. <laughs> so we go work on that. Also, little ghetto, but I don't have curtains in this office yet. So I've just been putting up <laughs> blankets. We're gonna work on this house, y'all. Good news for you guys is that it will all be vlogged, so at least you'll be entertained, but um, we need to get this together. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here because this vlog is so long. Um, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much, Adenola, for sponsoring this video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!